All right, here with Teddy Atlas. Teddy, your first pay-per-view with Timothy Bradley. Feels a little bit different, although you're, you're used to doing all this. But um, at this point, being Vegas, being Fight Week, how good do you feel in your confidence with your fighter? Oh, man, as good as you can feel when you're going to, uh, to the electric chair. Right. <laughs> how good you feel you're going to the electric chair? I need okay? a good last meal. That's what I would be doing. And, and you, would you be able to digest but, it, though? But you know what your destiny is in that electric chair. And, and no, in this case, you listen, don't. But you, you feel, look, we're in a business that you can't get away from reality, or at least you shouldn't. I mean, otherwise, you know, you're in la-la land. But you got to live in the real world, and the real world is that there's, there's, it's difficult what we, what we do and what my fighter does, and great responsibility to it, and, and um, there's risk to it. And having said all that, the best you can do is be prepared. And, you know, Custom Model, my mentor used to tell me, look, Teddy, you know, this is the most difficult business in the world. If you weren't afraid, if you weren't nervous, there'd be something wrong with you. I'd have to find your doctor sure. to see what the heck's wrong with you. And you'd be of no use to your fighter because you wouldn't be preparing him for what is, is real, what's in front of him. Uh, something that he has to be alert for. Something that, that he's got to be prepared for that's dangerous. But having said that, all you can do is prepare for everything. Turn every stone over, mentally, emotionally, you know, uh, physically, technically, prepare for everything. And he used to always tell me, when that day comes, it's usually a Monday, mm -hmm. that you get on that bus or you get on that plane and you go into that Saturday fight, that you know that you've done your job, that you've prepared your fighter for everything. Get on that plane, get on that bus, and you can be as comfortable in a very uncomfortable right. business as possible. And that's how I feel right now, as comfortable as possible, knowing that my terrific fighter and human being, Timothy Bradley, has done everything he can to be ready for this moment against a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous fighter in Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, every opponent that I've talked to the last five years that have faced Manny said it's so hard to prepare for him because there's no one sparring partner that can emulate Nobody. what Manny Pacquiao does. Nobody you got to get like three different guys that can do each different element of his game because it's just so diverse. No, no, listen. Nobody, you, we got good small partners and we got uh, guys that had the right style and the right approach. And I watched film with them before they started sparring and said, you see what made him watch Manny and said, you see what he does? Well, I know you can't do it, <laughs> but right. do, do as best you can to duplicate those things. So right. I feel we had the right style, the right guys. Um, but having said that, to your point, nobody was as fast as Manny uh, because they're not out there. Uh, that's that's why Manny uh, has had the career he's had and had the special career that he's had because of that talent. And that's why he's won fights, because of that talent. But we're prepared for it. We know that. And I have an athlete, a, a great winner, a special person, a five-time world champion that I said a couple of words to. They're not magic words. They're just common sense words. Compensate. Uh, we, we got the best we could for the spot. Now pick up that pick up that speed gauge a little bit more, right. knowing you got to compensate for a guy who's even faster. Well, you mentioned the five-time world champion, Timothy Bradley. So much of what he talks about in his interviews and lead-up to this fight is legacy. Even though he has still a few more years of fighting, why do you think that's such an important emphasis in particular for this fight? Because there's a legacy already, because there's a history already, and he wants it to, he knows this is the end of it, and he wants it to end the right way. You know, he knows that, I, I happen to believe that part of the strength, special strength in someone like Timothy, is the capacity to care about more than yourself. If you only care about yourself, I, I just happen to feel you can only be so strong. But when you care about others, as Timmy does, then you can be stronger. Part of this history, part of this legacy so far, has been the journey with Manny that his family has taken with him. You know, they, they share the ups and the downs. And, and they, they go through the nervousness, they go through the defeats, they go through all the difficult things that a fighter goes through with you. And they've been through some difficult things. That's what family does. And they've shared it with him. He wants to give back to them the good part. He wants to finish this with saying, hey, putting his arm around them and saying, we did this and look where we got. We got to the place we wanted to get to. Love you. Thank you.